Till now we have discussed to handle the I.O. devices either we can use a program driven approach or an interrupt driven approach or the direct memory access method. Now we are discussing about interrupt driven approach. If we are using interrupt driven I.O. We have to handle some issues related to multiple interrupts or multiple I.O. devices. First of all, if there are multiple I.O. devices, if any of the device raises an interrupt, the processor should recognize which device has raised the interrupt so that it can identify the address of the appropriate interrupt service routine to be executed. For this, Either a software-based approach such as polling can be used in which the interrupt from any device will be directed to a common interrupt service routine or a code which compares the status registers of all the devices in a particular order. The device encountered first with its status bit set will be the one who is serviced. But as we know, the software-based approach is slow and less efficient, hence we should rely more on hardware. Relying more on hardware, either we can use a separate interrupt request line and a separate interrupt acknowledgement line for each and every I.O. device. But here we need a lot of communication lines, hence usually a common interrupt request line is shared by all the I.O. devices. So the approach used is, when the processor receives an interrupt, if it wishes to service that request, the processor will send an acknowledgement signal. Upon receiving an acknowledgement signal, the device who raised the interrupt will place a code called interrupt vector code on the data bus which points to the appropriate interrupt service routine to be executed. Hence, the device identifies itself to the processor using the interrupt vector code. Now the device and the corresponding interrupt service routine is identified. Once the device is identified, the processor can start servicing its interrupt request. But before starting the service of that interrupt request, since there are multiple I.O. devices, it should decide something. Since there are multiple I.O. devices, while servicing the interrupt service routine for this device, there is chance that some other device or some other devices may raise the interrupt in between. In such cases, whether the other requests should be accepted or ignored means whether an interrupt handling be allowed to be interrupted again or not. Either we can disable interrupts from other devices and follow a sequential interrupt handling approach. Otherwise, if we wish to give importance to the priority of the request, then we can allow a low priority interrupt handling to be interrupted by a high priority request following a nested interrupt handling approach. And if the priorities are taken to consideration, now the next decision to be made is regarding simultaneous interrupt requests. Since there are multiple I.O. devices, there is chance that more than one device may raise the interrupt almost simultaneously. And among the simultaneous requests, some requests may be of high priority. For example, high-speed devices such as hard disk should be given higher priority than the low-speed devices such as keyboard if both of them happen to raise the interrupt simultaneously. So, if the processor receives multiple interrupts simultaneously, how to ensure that the higher priority device is serviced first? Or, for the simultaneous requests, how this priority ordering is maintained? One way is based on the software approach, that is, if we are using the software-based polling approach to identify the device, the interrupt or interrupts from any device or devices will be directed to a common routine which will compare the status information of all the devices in a particular order. And if this comparison is performed based on the priority of the devices, we can ensure that the devices will be serviced according to their order of priority. 
for example, let device 1 be of higher priority than device 2, which is greater priority than 3, then 3 greater than 4. Now the polling will be performed such that the devices will be compared according to their order of priorities. Here device 2 and 3 have raised their interrupt, but the first device encountered with its request bit set will be the one who is serviced. Hence the device 2, which is of higher priority than device 3, will be serviced first. But anyway, polling is a slow approach and also less, e less efficient approach, so we should rely more on hardware. So in the coming videos we shall discuss how to implement a priority based interrupt driven IO using hardware. One is a serial connection method known as daisy chaining and the other is a parallel connection method using registers. 